Hey guys, this is Heldos from Zombieland Gaming, and we're back in the Citadel. Um, I've been running around a little bit. I am going to be farming a little bit of mats. I'm not going to do the entire thing on uh, camera today, because like I said, I've said before in other videos, I know that that gets boring as hell. But I did go ahead and make something a little new. And it goes like this. So we have the ability to fly. The problem is, is until I start upgrading certain things, it is a real drain on the old mana. Now, what I'm going to have to do to combat that is I'm going to have to go ahead and I'm going to farm up a bunch of mats. I'm not really sure how many mana potions I'm going to want to carry on me. However, um, let's see... Items? No. Utility. Okay. So, we're going to unlock that bad boy. Um, essence of flight. Okay, so we're going to go with that guy too. We'll see what that guy does. But, like I said, I'm going to be farming some mats today. Um, I'm not really sure uh, what that drink I just bought does, but I'm going to find out. Um, I'm going to make some mana potions, and then I'm going to come back. I'm going to start using the, uh, uh, the broom to start adventuring around a little bit more, a little bit farther out, start seeing, uh, what else is in the world. I think that, um, we've really seen a lot that's in this area. The world does seem kind of dangerous, but it's not really that dangerous when you're just kind of hanging around doing your thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue to farm a little bit, and I will turn the, uh, come back when I have enough potions, I've made some of that new drink that I have, and we will go fly around. Be right back, guys. Okay, so we're back. I farmed up about 72 of those potions. I won't be able to make the bigger health or mana potions. And after reading um, this one particular uh, potion, where did it go? Where did it go? Where did it go? I was just looking at you. Um, there it is. Um, <clears throat> it's a levitation potion. I didn't read that before fully. I thought it had something to do with the uh, uh, broom, but it doesn't. So we're going to go ahead. I have to make the cauldron uh, when I level because it's two points and I only have one point. So I'm going to go ahead. Um, this is where we are. I'm going to go up someplace where we haven't been yet. I mean, it's not real fast. I only made one, so I don't know um, if it can proc something bigger uh, with stats, stuff like that. Um, I just made one and wanted to get out in the world a little bit. we are. I do like the wind effect. That seems kind of cool. Oh, what is that over there? I think we've been over there, yeah. And I fixed the motion blur. I don't know if anybody can really tell, but I turned it totally off. I thought that a little bit of blur might be okay, but as it kind of turned out, not so much, really. It was more of a pain in the butt. Um, having to deal with that than really anything else. And I didn't want anybody watching the videos, you know, to if, if you have problems with stuff like that, I didn't want it to become an issue um, for my videos, so I just went ahead and totally turned it off, and it, it, I, it's a lot better, I think, personally. It was only at point three, so I guess that point three really did matter. Where'd it 
we go. There it is. So I'm trying to stay vigilant. I know that there was one of those giants running around. I don't think this was the hill we were on before. As a matter of fact, I'm sure it's not. Yeah, because we didn't... It wasn't at the lake. that way. Now that's one of the cool things. If you're falling or you jump or whatever like this, it seems like uh, as long as you have the mana, the broom will appear underneath you and you hit the button. So that's kind of cool. I just want to try to see if we can find any cool uh, monsters or anything. What do we have up here? Well, that looks cool. Heal up. I'm going to put these healing potions in spot. Because I made some of those, too. Oh, I've unlocked fast travel. All right, very cool. Not sure where, but I unlocked it. Switch my weapon just in case. Because I don't think that there's just a tower here out of the kindness of their hearts. Apparently there is. Okay, so we got some fast travel going on. Take a quick look at the map. Drink another mana potion. Alright, so off we go. Now, I've drank about ten, I think, so far. So whatever we drink now, I'm going to have to make sure that I save the same amount to fly back to drink. Or there's going to be a lot of legwork involved. Or gathering with some legwork. Oh, got a drink. And again. And again. That's going to definitely be one of the things I'm going to have to pay attention to, because that's going to be easy to forget to do. you just flying around taking a look at everything and be like, oh, why am I crashing to... Oh, because I didn't drink. Yes. All right, that looks kind of cool. That would be an awesome place to build, too. Wow. I'm kind of more interested in getting into these mountains, seeing what's all up in there. Sleepless Mountains. Okay, so I guess our on-the-move goal is going to be to get to that tower. Because I don't think I have another teleport unlocked, so it's going to be cool to have that guy at least. Alright, so there's not too much really going on. So we're going aiming for that guy right there. Oh wow, bird. I 
It's not the fastest broom in the world, but it does fly. I gotta admit, they really did a really good job with the graphics in this game. I really do like it. I know that I'm nowhere near being able, ready to take on a, a legendary creature, but it would be kind of cool to see one, I think. That looks awesome. Okay, so we got another fast travel. Take that, like so. Now granted, in the, the small amount of um, exploring I have done, I do wonder if there's any sea creatures. I haven't watched any videos or anything like that or really gone swimming around or if they're going to be added the crickets are kind of a nice touch I'm not sure about the elements I don't know if that affects anything but we're about to find out because I want to take a look at this little caldera here of molten fun okay so we're at about 38 right now we had about 72 so I'm getting very close to where I'm gonna have to probably do some running there's some lovely little blood orcs. But I want to see this. I can't... can't deny that. And that looks like another teleporter up there. see any mobs up here so I don't know what that means oh well hello there huh there's a cave though Not losing any health. But I am kind of at the point to where I'm going to have to turn back.
Oh wow, what is that? Or is that just... It looks like there's something moving down there. Oh, it's just a tree in the wind, okay. Oh wow! Hello, hi! How are you doing? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna go over here now. Don't, no, there's nothing to see here. Please move along. Nothing to see here, buddy. Nothing to see. Yeah, not sure where you're going, but as long as it's not towards me, I am good. Okay, so I'm going to fly to the teleporter. I want to see exactly where this will teleport us to, if it'll tell us, teleport us back to the uh, other one that we discovered and exactly how the system works, because I honestly have no idea how that system works. And it would be kind of helpful to save on some of the mana potions. And there's the crickets again as soon as I hit the forest area. Oh, wow, some birds, that's cool. Okay, so... Oh, wow, we made it way up here. That's awesome. Okay, so let's see how this works. Oh, wow. That is really cool. Huh. So you just decide the place you want to go, and off you go to the races. Okay, so you do have to discover it. You have to go to the top of the tower. Did I discover that? Okay, I did discover that one. And I did discover that one. Okay, so I have that line there. Did I go into that? No, I did not go into that one. And obviously not that one. So that's very cool. All right, well, we learned something today. Uh, how to teleport around the map. And that's, that's pretty badass, I'm not going to lie. Okay, so where we are... We are right in this region here. So. And off we go. I gotta admit, that's really kind of cool. I like doing that stuff. So as long as you've discovered it, and you have a destination point, you can use the system. I do kind of like that they did it like that so that you can't just teleport all over the map all willy-nilly, that you actually have to get out and do some stuff. And they've been pretty good about getting stuff fixed and taken care of and, and 
doing little tweaks and adding some stuff. So I do hope that this game makes it. Um, it seems to have a pretty dedicated player base. It's not like a massive amount of people, but at the same time, there's people playing it. There's people making videos about it, so that's got to be something good. And I know, um, uh, don't don't hold me to this, but I've done, been doing my fair share of research online. And apparently, the next Steam sale is going to be either on October 30th or right before. Um, I believe last year's was on the 26th. So, if this game winds up going on sale, I would definitely recommend buying it. Um, like I said, there seems to be a pretty solid amount of people playing it. It's a little... Base is a little small, but I mean... The small oil base can eventually grow into something big. So it's definitely worth taking a risk and uh, seeing where the game goes. And I have been talking to some other people. I might eventually wind up going to... I might go back on my word, actually, and go play on an official server. Um, some people have seen my videos and... You know, kind of getting your, your name out there and getting a little recognition goes a long way to what kind of player you can be because you never know what kind of lunatic you might wind up getting. I mean, they could come off one way just to screw you over later on. So, um, this has been Helldozer for Zombieland Gaming. If you like what you see, please like and subscribe. Um, I'm going to be making more videos and uh, continuing some other series. That was Ron the Bear. Ron the Bear's a little upset. His uh, his taming ended, so unfortunately me, unfortunately, me and Ron are no longer friends. But that may change in the near future. I'm just not sure yet. So this has been Helldozer. Thanks for watching, and please come back again.